officers, to our fallen comrades, salute! The show aired just a couple of days before four more Canadian soldiers were killed in Afghanistan, and it took issue with a suggestion from the head of Canada's army earlier this month that the Canadian military could use a break. Due to personnel and equipment shortages, Canada's Lieutenant General Andrew Leslie, an unusual name for a man, Leslie. Yes, told the Senate Defense Committee <laughs> last week, quote, it's like, hey, and by the way, Canada, <laughs> what? hello? Isn't this the perfect time to invade this ridiculous country? They have no army. I didn't even know that they were in the war. I had to go, go chill in Canada. So. Exactly. It's amazing. I don't know any country that's done this, Bill. Would No, they probably wouldn't. And, I mean, does this surprise any of us? I mean... It surprises me. Well, police officers, and they have mounties. Our cops ride heavily armored cars. They ride horses. We have bulletproof vests. They have wonderful little red jackets that can be seen a mile away. This is not a smart culture, Greg. Really? Yes, but... but you know, it took me about a year to start hating the 9-11 victims' families. It took me about a year. Um, 